feasibility of any project is when it's completed. And in that grace, I've been taking from that hand. That's where you see a man start something, but he can't finish it. He will start something, he can't finish it. The thing will become half and half. May that never be your portion. Now, another thing I saw is in whatever in your hand is transferable. And that's why if you are a man whose hand has been delivered, and you know that your hand, whatever you touch, excels. You must be careful who follow you to business because there are if wrong hands that can pollute business. I don't know whether you have experienced it before that people put hand in what you are doing. It's going well when you are doing it all alone, but you may employ another hand, whether as a combined business or something. You begin to notice damage, you begin to notice setback, you begin to notice losses. Does it happen? Yes. There are some people that things doesn't last in their hand. Have you not noticed it? There are some people, if they, whatever, if you give them what you have used for 10 years, if they use it once, it will damage. Because it's already in their hand that thing, good thing doesn't stay in their hand. Their hand has been polluted. They forbid to touch what is good. So also at times, people borrow people money. You can borrow your money, give to people, and you see them, that money, returning it becomes very difficult. Because their own hands have also, also been polluted that they cannot hold something and that thing become a blessing. So we are talking about your hand being delivered. Now, let me show you something. In Numbers chapter 27 verse 18. Look at what God said. Whatever you have in your hand can be transferred. And the Lord said to Moses, Take thee, Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit, and lay thy hand upon him. Do you know that even when Paul ministered baptism of the Holy Ghost. It was by laying of hands. I, I, am I correct? It's by laying of hands. Yes. Check your Bible. In Acts of Apostle, he laid their hands and they, they, they received the Holy Ghost. So when, a man, when your hand is polluted, it cannot transfer any blessing. Because it's what you have in your hand that they transfer. Now I saw something in a Deuteronomy 34 verse 9. Let's go. We are heading somewhere. Deuteronomy 34 verse 9. And Joshua the son of Nun was what? Full of the spirit of wisdom. For Moses had laid his hand upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him as I mean unto him and did as the Lord commanded Moses. He, the hand he laid on him he transferred wisdom. The hand they touch him, it transfer blessing, give him. So, when your hand has been polluted, this is when you can no longer see all these things. You see, you're made excel, you see them doing better, but you are stagnated. The answer is that the enemy have tampered the grace in your hand. And that is why in this meeting, I pray the Lord give it to you back. Please, if you're saying that, amen, let it be very strong. Now, if you look at John chapter 11, 44. Now, let's go a little bit deeper now. I he that was dead came forth. Hand and foot. Come again, let me read again. And he that was dead came forth. Bound. How did he come out? Bound. He came out with bondage. Hand and foot with what? Grave clothes. Stop there. The hand was tied. So, the, that hand has been messed up. So the hand that is bound is looking for deliverance. Talk to me. So he came out, but yet the hands were tied, the legs were tied. We are talking about now. Your hand. When the enemy tie a man's hand spiritually, even if you do 200 business, no one excels. Even if they give you 10 million, it doesn't stay. Until that money finish. There are people that the grace in their hand is a grace of reduction, not increase. You know, I talk about productivity, solution, and what? Increase. Because another name for increase is multiplication. Have you not seen somebody who tell you, say, I started market with 1,000 naira then, and today is a multi-millionaire. What happened? There was multiplic multiplication. That little thing in his hand multiplied. Even those days we are small. I noticed there are things they normally do. I think somebody will give you one file. Hmm? 
and said, I don't know whether those in this part of the country experience it. Maybe somebody who you love or you call your godmother or godfather will just give you one far. So you'll be training that far. They want to test your destiny and what you have, your grace in multiplication. There are some people you give that far. The first attack of uh, foul flow or maybe bad flow or whatever who just killed that far. Uh, there are some I knew. They gave them foul three, many times. <laughs> he never produced one day. And it's a very sign, a very bad sign. And there are some people, the moment you put their name, give them that chicken. Before one year come back, if you produce 10, you go carry that 10 and that 10 will survive. And before you know, they will tell you, say, all the whole fowl or chickens here is the one that owns all. But there are some people, if you put their name, because they, what is in their hand, the moment they give it to them and drop it, that thing will be polluted. Am I making sense to anybody? God, the hand has been this. And if you are such a person, you notice it that if you, you touch money, it also increases. It keeps reducing. It looks like we are the poor sort inside water. My dear, you need to pray. The enemy has tampered your hand. You start business. Instead of your mate is running front, you are running back. Your mate is running front, you are running back. You started with goods of 20,000. Now you are done buy 18. From 18, 15. From 15, you are buying 12. From 12,000, you are buying 10. Now, at the time, now you know, even they feed by 1,000. Oh, something is wrong. And some people they gave the same amount of money. Some of them are started by 100,000 goods. What happened to your own? Have you not noticed it at times? You see people who sell the same thing, they will shade together. But everybody knows his own. But who won't buy, go buy, go jump the first, jump the second, jump the third, they go middle. Does it happen? Who get this one? Now that blue, he said no. Now the white. Now the other one, he said no. The one here, he, this one, this one. Even when you try to confuse him and say, now the same now, he said no. Does it happen? Check that person. He show you what is in his hand. And I said, some people know goods. They are not around, but you see, say, customers are longing for their goods. Those who are around, they can't sell their own. Is in your hand. Whatever they do, I do. They prosper. I have to, even if you put three whites, then their own whites, now you go stand out. They go tell you, say, this three, he said, no, now this white, this one, this one, eh, no change there. This one. The same product, the same color, but then you say, no, not be the same. I've seen where somebody brought three whites material, they show person. No be the same. People say the same, but who they buy say no be the same. Say this one different. Praise God. Open your two hands, shout it. Father. Father. If God is your father, call him like a son. Father. Every form of pollution in my hand. I spoil it now. I flush it out. Out of my hand. Out of my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Put him in three times. Amen. Now watch this. The Bible says, and the hand was bound. I've told you something about that John 11 44. The Bible said that he that was there jumped out of the grave, came forth. Now, did you not notice it that it was death that killed Lazarus? But Jesus got to the tomb and shouted, Lazarus, come forth. The Bible said he that was dead jumped out. Now he jumped out of the grave. Death that killed him disappeared. But the thing that family died didn't lose. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. Death that we thought that is very strong heard the voice of God, Jesus once, and withdrew. But the hand which the enemy, the family tied, the hands and the leg and the face, which they used ordinary rope, tied, didn't lose. He jumped out of the grave with it. Lazarus, he said, okay, see me here. And Jesus was shocked. He said to them, you are the one that hold him. He's not even dead. Lose him and let him go. And I told you, I said, family battle is worse than death. I repeat myself, I said, family battle is worse than death. Go and check that scripture. Jesus called him Lazarus, comfort, but immediately. Which you know that even when a man is sleeping, you can't wake him up, natural sleep. Talk of a man who had been in the grave for four days. 
just one voice and he that was there came forth but the hands were tied I asked myself why that thing don't, didn't equally broke as the voice of Jesus came and the Lord told me that's why you see family battle will pray many times yet he's stubborn you go pray you yourself wait carry the load go tired you didn't hear what I said you see that you pray stubborn problem Jesus shouted once death saw the resurrection and life with you but what the enemy died was still intact he stood up from the grave walked out of that home yet the hands were still tied have you ever asked yourself how strong is this group is this stronger than cable electric cable but yet did he break trying to show you the mystery behind family battles and the hands of the wicked against a man and that's why if you are praying you must be strong in your prayer your word they tie they don't want you to lose in a, in a hurry because they settle down tie the thing to make sure they keep you long but that devil is a liar yeah. come and do what only you can do in my life oh lord he's an emergency come and do what only you can do in my life, oh Lord, is an emergency. Come and do what only you can do in my life, Chineke, is an emergency. Come and do. What only you can do in my life, oh Lord, is an emergency. It's an emergency, Christ. Not only you, Baba. You are the only one that can lose this chain. Oh. I say, come and do. What only you can do in my life, oh Lord, is an emergency. Come and do what only you can do in my life, oh Lord, is an emergency. Father, come and do. Jehovah, come and do. I say, come and do. It's an emergency. He goes to remove your brother. When I dig it, she won't. He goes to remove.
Bonne canon au loulou, il viendra la potam. Oui, mais quand nous sommes, ne me déloue, ne me déloue, il consigne. Oh, bien, bébé, maintenant, il dit que tu m'es, il consigne. Oh, bien, bébé, maintenant. I don't care to know who tied it and how long they tied it. If you believe the word of God this morning, that hand will be liberated. I say, that hand will touch blessing again. That hand will gather and it will stay again. Because when a man's hands have been polluted, it will turn to basket that does not gather water. The worst thing you can do in life is to pour water inside basket. You're just wasting effort. Now, when a man's hand has been tied, he's never productive. He will labor and yet get no result. There are some people who say every day they are going to market. Hey, market, go, come back. Some of them are not making income. Some are making losses and and and, and uh, debt. The only thing is that they just kept themselves busy. The enemy destroyed the labor, the result of labor. No, they, they, they put, they don't get anything out of it. Anything he touched does not make headway. There are some people when you ask them, they have done more than 20 business. No one have a sec. Every year, as January enter, they are starting new business. As it is, I want to change business. Last year he changed one. What happened to that one? This year he's changing another one. What is last two years income? Every day he's changing business. My dear, it's not about changing business, it's about delivering your hand from the power that kill increase. My Bible says, whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. He borrows and can never pay back. I know you have seen a lot of them. They are good in borrowing. The day they want to borrow, hi, you like their language, like their English, like their, the way they laugh. But when they reach to pay back, ah, you now know who they are. <laughs> I'm telling you, see that their language will change because it's a spirit. Because the thing is following them. And now the problem is that the moment they touch that money, the strength and the grace and power in that money will go down. Because it's already written in their hand. Who gave them? Gave them blessing. But the moment they collect, the blessing has been tampered. Because their hand has been this. The grace and the ability and the blessing in their hand have been destroyed. I decree and declare to your hand that wish you can open that hand. As you declare this, and may God liberate your hand. People have helped to help you, they are not tired to help you. Check around you, there are some people you have helped, help you don't tire. Even you who is helping them, they didn't help you up to that extent. And then you have helped them, it's like you helping them want to swallow every of your effort of many years. Because there is power that fights them. Now what, you see good business, you will show them. And you, maybe you are even also into the business, but the moment they start, everything will scatter. But the moment they stop, put another person there, they will pick up. Bring them back. It will go down. Somebody shout the blood of Jesus three times. Now let me show you something. In Judges chapter 16. Let me show you another example here from verse 2 to 3. Or 2 and 3. Judges 16. About uh, Samson. Now it was told the Jezreel saying, Samson is come hither. And they compassed him, him and laid wait for him all the night in the gate of the city. And we are quiet all the night. What were they saying? In the morning, when it was day, we shall kill him. At that time, the grace upon Samson was still very strong. The anointing was still, have not been tampered. 
So you see, when they, 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 a man carry this kind of grace, you can't scatter a blessing in his hand. You can only you can only boast for him. In fact, the more you boast for him, you'll be far far better than you because what he has, you don't have it. Now look at verse three. What happened after they said what they said? And Samson lay till what midnight? He didn't go, it, wait, midnight. Grace woke him up, and he arose midnight. And they were waiting for him at the city gate. And he took the doors of the gate of the city. What did he use to put it? His hand. <laughs> For the grace in his hand was still at him. And two posts. And went with them. Imagine. Not be with truck. He used two hands. Carry gate. Carry the pillar. Pull all of them. And take a walk. Just imagine that. Not door. Gate of the city. He pulled it. with the power. We got the power, the anointing there. Yeah. What was inside something was not just muscle, it was grace. And he pulled it out and went away. Look at that verse 3. And by all, uh, and by and all, and put them on his way, shoulder. Are you hearing that? And carried them to the top of the hill that is before Hebrew. He dismantled the gate. When the men wake up, they say, Which kind of human being is this? We planned, but we could not. But you know, I saw something again that said, but when he, his enemy, have tampered the grace, when they tampered that oil, reverse was the key. Look at verse 21. The same chapter. Look at verse 21. That was, then the grace have been tampered. He had been polluted. Body. The police that took him and do what? Put out his eyes. Brought him down to Gaza. And what happened? They bound him. You know, when police come to arrest a man who they believe is a hardy criminal, what do they do? They handcuff his hand. So the first thing they did was to tie him, tie his hands. But they were able to tie the hand because what was in the hand have left. Even now, when Samson was Samson and the grace in his hand was available, they can't touch that hand. If they try it, they will meet something else. But because the hand, the grace which God had deposited originally had been withdrawn, that's why the enemy had the ability and the audacity to tie him. I don't know whether you are here with me. God, that grace has been tampered. So the question now, who tampered it? Who tampered it? Now, so God created that you touch something, it doesn't work. What work for others? What? You, others will do something one day, they will get it. You do your own one year, yet it never still work. At the time you see some young lady, a man came to marry you, and at the time he dropped and went back and married your friend. And you're angry for your friend. At the time, somebody angry for your friend. You need to ask yourself a question. What is different between me and my friend? I'm telling you, that's the reality. Is he not the same woman I am? Why must he choose him? Something is wrong. And at times you look at it, it has not been. Even at times, they not don't, they don't marry your friend, but they go somewhere else. Marry a woman. And at times you find out that somebody they marry says you are far better by, by your own oh, eye. You believe that you are far better. You know? But in your own, they choose that person better than you. Somebody shout the blood of Jesus. So they, they, they were able to make something up. Now put that verse 21 again. Verse 21. And bound him with what? Fetters of brass. And what happened? They reduced Samson. They reduced him. The, this is what the enemy does. When the man has been polluted, they will reduce you from who you're supposed to be to a slave. I told you there are some people who are made to be general manager, but the enemy told GM. The enemy turned them to get man, GM. They have to reduce you. They have to. Now, not just that they bound him. They brought him down. Eh? They bound him with fetters of brass and they, he did ground in the prison house. Now, do you know what I call it? Labor that have no reward. He was grinding corn for them. Unproductive labor. You are laboring, you are sweating, but you can't feed yourself. You are working. In fact, you do work more than those who are even having money, but yet you can't pay house rent. School fees, you can't pay. They need anything at all, nothing, but yet sweat don't finish on your body but yet nothing to show because the grace have been tampered am I talking and that's why you must at times look at your hand you know I remember times I told you I said pray I said dust your hand 
It's not physical. You must understand. At times I told you to pray. Look at your hand. Speak to your hand. Speak, increase, increase. I think there was the other prayer. I said, I said, favor on my head. What? Increase on my hand. Increase, increase, increase. No be reduction. Yes. I, there are many today. If you ask them, they will tell you how small they started business. And today they are multi-millionaire. Because there was increase. Constant, not once in a while increase. Constant increase. It's not only December. Some people, they make their little increase during December. January, everything will scatter. May that never be your portion. Sweat your two hands to wear this altar. Whatever that have tampered your hand. Whether they use gift to tamper it. Whether they use greeting to tamper it. In the name of Jesus, at the sound of your amen, I speak deliverance. That people give you money, the money does it never get used to. Whatever they invest into your life, never work. Whoever that have done that, whoever that have kept you there and believe that you remain there, somebody shall fire seven times. Look at your hand as you shout that fire seven times. Perceive it. Let the fire burn on whatever that in your hand that is not of God. Can I hear you shout it seven times? He wake him by way. How the cony the cage. He bo alpha no mega. Hani nile naja gema. Hani naja gema. Hai naja gema. Nina imarama. Eo na nyage na o diomage o juru manya Iwe gimba we Oti konye de kage Ebo afa no mega Anilile na jage ma a man had financial problem. He was a big businessman, but he had issue that scattered his money, and he was owing back. Now hear this: when this grace is in your hand, if you fall, you can't reach ground; you will still pick up. But when this grace left, leaves a man, you will fall, fall, reach ground, and never get up because the enemy have withdrew the whole thing now. The man has money, but. There was a mistake somewhere that happened and he ran into he had a fight he had problem in his business he do happen and during one of the world cup he has a good friend who also doing well in business and according to him he said they are normally every of the because he love ball because he was doing well any of the football he always want to don't like watching from the screen he wants to go to that country because he travels a lot and he has the money so his friend now called him and said oh boy this year only me one go got two of them always he said, you see, if I wish I had even money for ticket, I would have. The friend said, no, I will still sponsor you. Let's go together. So two of them traveled. They went there. We had the, we are watching the ball. We had, he found a seat. And he noticed there was a white man there. Because the man happened to be a funny person. While he was talking to Igbo, they laugh. They laugh. At the time, we go, now made him friend. They now exchange contact. The next day, they still came. The man was, you know. The third day, it was still the same thing while they were watching. So the Ibo was just following the company. So one day, Ibo had asked him and said, Where are you? He said, I'm in Nigeria. What do, you for what do you do for a living? The man said, Anything sellable. He said, Ibo, As you yellow, so if I carry you go my country, I will market you. That's what he told the white man. He said, As you white, so, hey, hey, if I carry you go, I take you make money. The man laughed. He said, That's interesting. And he never knew that this man had a fabric company. That had so many materials, they had issues in sales because they didn't meet up with some target they had. So they have a lot of stocks that was, you know, kept down in their warehouse. And they never knew. And the team tied the man money. And this man is also into the same business. And he doesn't have money also to import again. So the next one, he asked him again, he said, please tell me what you do. He said, I've told you anything sellable, including you as you yellow. So say, if I put it for content, I go to my, my country, I will sell you. So it was okay, if that be the case, let me try you for something. Can we do have a deal? They said, a deal is this. So they discussed it. She took him to the warehouse and he saw, he saw fabrics. Over 10 containers. 
He said, can you help me push this into the market? He said, I'm having issues in pushing this quantity because these are the old stocks. He said, okay. He said, but I don't, you will do it by yourself, but I promise you I will sell. So the man said, if you promise, so they have to. He changed contact properly. And in that process, the business started. And you know, the man pushed all those material in here. And you know, when the material entered, it happened that that sample didn't enter this country. When he put it inside market, it was people's demand. That was where the man recovered. Because, but you know, when he was going for that food boy, his senior brother called him. When he, go to tell, he went to tell his senior brother, he said, I'm going for a walk up. His senior brother said, Are you out of your mind? Bank is on your neck. That money, why can't you convert it? And you know, he said, Leave me. I will survive. The brother said, He not told the brother, said, The friend. He said, This is your friend. Who couldn't help you to? He knows, settle a little bit of this bill. He wants to pay your hotel bill, yeah? He wants to pay your ticket. He wants to take care of him. He said, At least let me leave Nigeria first. Reset my brain. And when he came back, he came back with results. The brother, the brother was like this. Do you know when he finished the first push, containers they put, he cleared all his bill. When he came to Nigeria, they signed a proper agreement for business. He told them, say, whatever you produce, give me, I'll be marketing for you. Let me represent you in the whole Africa. That was how I turned again. Because he lost money, but he did not lose the grace. But some people lost the money, and they lost the grace to make it. May that never be your portion. Somebody shout the blood of Jesus. The hand that was made for victory was used to serve the enemy. I'm talking about Samson. Now, number two. Number two. Are you with me? This is very serious. More serious than the point, the point three. Now, number one today is point three. Am I correct? Talk to me. And uh, so let me call it point four now. Deliverance. Number one, I mean, number one, I said your head. Number two, your hair. And number three, number four, I call it your blood. Somebody say your blood. And number so it's supposed to say, Pastor, my blood. I want to show you something. Your blood. Because most times they didn't want to pollute your blood. And that's the highest level of wickedness. Whatever happened to your hand is personal. Whatever happened to your head is personal. Whatever happened to your head is personal. But whatever happened to your blood is genetic. You can pass it across. So it's more serious than the other three. Deliverance, speaking to your blood. I think some of you have not prayed. Speak to your blood that no power, power that are looking for blood. My blood will not be polluted. My blood will not be used. No, they, those who are looking for blood, drinkers of blood. No, it's not for sale. Shout the blood of Jesus three times louder. Now, let me show you this scripture. Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11. Leviticus 17 verse 11. When we talk about blood, we talk about life. When we talk about blood, we are talking about life. Leviticus 17 11. For the life of the flesh is what? In the blood. That's all I want to get there. The life of the flesh is in the blood. When a man lack blood, he lack life. Two of us, talk to me. Have you seen a man when they say they cut his body? But a doctor took injection and there was no single blood and he's still breathing. Have you heard it before? It's not possible. So the blood, the life of everything is in the blood. The life of everything is in So when we talk about blood, pollution of the blood is pollution against life. And such wickedness is transferable to generations. That's why I say it's genetic. So, blood is life. He that wastes blood, wastes life. And that's why if you are a child of God, you must be careful. You must not cause people blood intentionally. You know what I mean? He does who they carry blood, bottle, two person. Uh, you, you, you beat children and they are bleeding and you are smiling. No, you are not a human being. You're already attracting cost to yourself. And there are some other, they have that grace. They can tell you, I have flog and blood. They come off on your head, they come off on your leg. Mama, thank God. You have turned to Satan. 
He had turned to witchcraft. Because when you touch any man's blood, you touch his life. And you who, who love your own life must not abuse another man's life. If a man's blood is being tampered or polluted, it's a great problem. It can become genetic problem. It can pass from one generation to another. Now let me show you a, the scripture that will interpret it better for us. It's again chapter 16 from verse 3 to 6. I'm sure you're following me and I'm sure you're right. Ezekiel chapter 16, 3 to 6. Because I'm going to point out some things today from this line now. He said, Go ahead. And say, Toss. He said, And say, Toss says the Lord God. Unto who? Jerusalem. He said, Thy bet. Now watch this. And thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. Thy father was an Amorite. And thy mother and a Hittite. And it was. I come again. And as for thy nativity. In the day thou was born. Thy navel was not caught. Neither was washed in the water. To stop to thee. Thou was not salted at all. Nor swaddled at all. Verse 5. None I pity thee. For, I wanted to watch what we are reading. To do any of this unto thee. To have compassion. Compassion upon thee. You know at times people don't feel your pain. You need to find out why. You could not, even when you are going through terrible situation. They have the solution. They don't feel it. You begin to ask why. Some of them are very close to you. You need to find out. The answer is that the blood has been polluted. He said but thou was cast into an open field. To the looting of thy person. In the day that thou was born. Now, verse 6 told us what was the problem. And when I passed by thee, I saw the what? It, I saw the what? Polluted in your own blood. And I said unto thee, Why? When was thou in thy blood? When thou was in, the, in thy blood, live ye, I said unto thee. When thou was in thy blood, live. But look at that verse where it says, And I passed you, and I saw pollution in your blood. Pollution. When a man's blood has been polluted, I will show you the result. At times, the enemy can feed you through dream to pollute your blood. You know, I've told you about this thing. Let me show you one of the most dangerous dreams I fear in my life. It's not where somebody using cutlass will fight me. It's not about where somebody is running after me. Or what the greatest dream I fear in my life is eating in the dream. It can pollute a man's blood, pollute your destiny, pollute everything around you. And I told you this, half. you see, when a man eats in the dream, there are three things at work. Number one, your health is at stake. Number two, your finance is also at stake. Number three, you will lack favor. No matter who promised you, you eat food in the dream. Watch, go back to that person. Even if he's the president of the nation. He is not giving you story because he wants to give you story. There are people you give promise, you lack favor. You didn't hear what I said. There are people you go promise today, say, I will give you money Tuesday. I want to help you. And you, you know, say they sell in that shop. But you find that because you promise them Tuesday, Monday, market is not good. You will sit down, sit down like this. All the people who told you that I will buy, all your regular customers who come every morning, you won't see anyone. You begin to ask, what happened? And you know the kind of business you do. And you know that you sell. But if that day you promise that person, pass, market will come again. God, the thing that follow him has seized your own network. <laughs> Pollution in the blood. The blood has been polluted. What carries a man is your blood. Yes. At the moment that blood has been tampered, the blood, there is no more agaya. Something has gone wrong. So that thing, eating in the dream, number one, it causes bad luck. Number two, it brings delay. Number three, it brings sickness. You see sickness, small, small sickness. You know where it finish. You cannot say you are sick. You cannot say you are healthy. Have you not seen some people like that? They cannot tell you, say, I'm well. And they cannot tell you, say, I am sick. They are in between the line. Somebody holler the blood of Jesus three times louder. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. 
got the blood have been polluted. And the effect of this blood can reflect to character and behavior. Everyone behave according to the blood that flows into his system. You know, most times when father doubts the, the existence of his son, you go and run the blood test to check who is this child. Because every man behaves according to his blood. But then the blood can be polluted. Yes. Now, when the blood, when a, when a man's blood has been polluted, this is what you now start saying. You see sicknesses that have no cure. Now, let me ask you have you ever gone to a doctor before? You explain your sickness, ask you, say, anybody in your family? Talk to me. Does he have? You said uh, you are asthmatic. The first thing the doctor will ask you was your mother asthmatic? The moment you say yes, you tell you say you can manage it. Is a that's the thing. That's you said you contacted it from the blood of your mama. That's what he's trying to tell you. I told you about doctors. They say they are not deliverer minister, but they took they 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 they, they show trace of deliverer because am I talking here? At times when you somebody have mental problem, they will ask say. The, in their family was anybody at any time they want to know who passed it they want to know who gave it to this one and that's why my dear you must pray one of the prayer i give you if you are writing write it that i will never pass what will not benefit my generation no no, no i will not pass it at all. i will only give them what to excel this generation i will only give them what to expand what to bring out our name not what will kill our name you know, at times people want to marry, they say, go and ask about that family. Eh, why are they asking? They want to know. Was there anything pollution in their lineage? Now, imagine where a man wants to ask a question. They say, the mother of that girl was having mental, he died with mental illness. Papa could tell his son, Alabam, if you are going, <laughs> you go. Say, my hand, no day. Because they, they, what happened? The, the father of that boy will be telling the son, say, this girl may be a victim. But especially when they say her first daughter. They go say, is it their blood? Now, check that thing. It didn't start from the beginning. It was at a particular time the blood was polluted. Because somebody was weak. Somebody could not, you know, somebody, and let me use the word, somebody was a victim of that wickedness. But you must lay hand on your head. Say to yourself, even though I contacted it, I am going to flush it out of my life. Even though my father and my mother was a victim of any of these things, I can seal it. I will not be your victim. I wish you can put amen to that. Yeah. Now, can I shock you? I went to a family. I went to a family. Everybody read. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. Everybody breathing at the same they had a kind of kata that both children, everybody, who near you go to get? I later asked a woman, a married woman, he said, it's just like that in our family. Place your hand on your head and say, Father, Father every evil seed in my life, seed, contrary to my destiny, whatever the enemy has planted, I don't care to know when it was planted. In the name of Jesus, I flush it out of my life. I flush it out of my destiny. Open your mouth, and whatever I am carrying, whatever I am carrying. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 